24 hours. Ooh, that's tough. They have a few robots out there that's highly intelligent. It was fun at the time. I mean, you know, I, I haven't did it since I was since I've been uh 40, but <laughs> My best cheap eat go-to, I would probably say Emo's Pizzeria is famous in St. Louis. Probably a lot of people in St. Louis cheap eat to go to. I go to them a lot because, I mean, they got the best pizza, I think, in the world. They got good barbecue chicken, or you can get the vegetarian style with lots of vegetables and stuff like that. You know, I haven't eaten red meat for almost 30 years. If you do eat red meat, get the meat lovers, and you will not be disappointed. I promise you. It's like a pile of meat this high on a piece on a piece of about that big and it's like it's it's incredible. I mean what makes Emo's pizza the best to me is is you know it's all in the sauce. I mean you would just have to taste it. I would probably say a large is somewhere in the realm of about what was it probably about 20 bucks, something like that. I mean I don't know. I haven't looked at a receipt <laughs> in so long. <laughs> Obviously New York has great pizza, Chicago has great pizza as well. But um you know I'm from St. Louis and I'm laying my hat on Emo's. One good place I go to that's delicious and cheap is Iska Bibbles. A lot of people have been going there for a lot of years. I know I've been going there since I was a kid. When you come in, you smell the good grease. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you, like it smells, it smells amazing in there. Bunch of celebrity pictures on the side of the wall, um, even from Michael Jackson all the way down to Sylvester Stallone in the Rocky movies. A lot of people have you know, who came to, to Iskip Bibbles over the years. They've been open probably since the, I would say the 60s. When you come inside, you, you feel a great vibe because you know this is the this is the number one place in Philly. My favorite dish, I would say, is the ultimate cheese steak. Onions, peppers, um, fried onions, uh, man, sweet peppers. It goes down the line. Ketchup, mayonnaise is incredible. The average cheese steak in Philly, I would say, costs about like $16. But at Iskip Bibbles, you can get it for like around 10 maybe 12 at the most. And that's cheap, you know, that's that's better than spending, you know, 16 or 17 dollars for a cheese steak. You can go to Iskaboo and get it for cheap. And you can get a drink, actually get a drink, fries, and the cheese steak fully put together, I would say maybe for $15. That's a cheap eat, you can't, you can't beat that. When I was a kid, I met the owner, um, I was with my dad, and that's the first time I went in there. It probably was like 1980, spa, and, um, I met the owner because my dad always go down there and get cheese steaks, bring it home for me and my mom and my grandma, and my, my, my brothers and everybody. So, you know, I went down there and he introduced me to him. And then I went, actually, I went back down there later on in life and uh, I told him who I was. And I brought an artist in there and he remembered me. And that, that was kind of dope, you know, just for him to actually remember who I was. I'm like, I've been coming here for years. And, and, and that was a blessing right there. You come to Philly, you go to Iskabibu. That is the hit. Nowhere else. South Street, Fourth and South. Oh man, I, I gotta I gotta mention Zaxby's. I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, so any other chicken spot like a Popeyes or a KFC, we had Zaxby's is kind of like something you only see in the South. Zaxby's is it's just like go to. If you see it, it's just it's just eye appealing. The little chicken right there, and then it's Zaxby's. It's just like oh my god, chickens. <laughs> <laughs> the traffic is crazy in Atlanta. Like it's horrible. Like you'll be stuck in traffic for like an hour and a half, two hours. And then you just like, man, I gotta eat. And then what you will do is you'll go to the Zaxby's parking lot. You will go to the drive-thru and you'll sit in the parking lot and eat and be like, I'm gonna let this traffic die down. And I'm, <laughs> and I'm gonna eat this meal. And then, and then you just go and then try to find some ways through the traffic and hurry up and get back home. It's only certain restaurants you see in the South and you just gotta have it because it's like, why not? The best place for 24 hours I've been to I would say number one is Japan. The hip hop scene, fashion, all the sneaker stores, they got all the sneaks you would like, all the toys. The party scene at night is amazing. I've done, done plenty of parties there. One Oak, the club, I've been over there with Janet Jackson a few times and that was fun. The DJs, the DJs is amazing. They, they're up on everything. They, they, they're, they're, they're scratching, they're, they're, the way they're mixing. They have a few robots out there that's highly intelligent that they created and um, you can actually have a conversation with them. And people was just talking to it and it was amazed. You go there for 24 hours, the food, you gotta get some of the food there, you know? The, 
All the ramen noodles is amazing. You, <laughs> definitely, if you get a chance, you know, you definitely would love it. You would want to check out Japan. 24 hours? Ooh, that's tough. Cause like, uh, I'ma say, and this might be cliche cause I'm on the shop, but Chicago. Chicago is fire. Partying in Chicago, going to restaurants, going to different bars. Chicago just got food everywhere. Like, it's this tiki bar that me and Sorrel be going to. And it's just like, it's got these little finger foods and they come out with these really big alcohol drinks. And it's just, you just get smacked in there. You just get smacked. It's just crazy. It's fire. But um, I would say, I would say Chicago. And I'm excited to go back for uh, the next season too. It look like Gotham City. The clouds are just kind of coming over the buildings and the moonlight. And you see the lake and you see the boats out there. And you just like, it's like, it's kind of like a little vacay town. If you really chilling, like if you just, you ain't got nothing to do, but it's just a vibe. And then you can go rent a boat and go on the lake and look at the city from that way. And then they do the fireworks uh, once a week. And it's just, it's just a vibe. It's a vibe. You know, Chicago is, you know, it's a, it's a grown man town. I love it. So I went to the Cubs Stadium in the White Sox Stadium to uh, watch some games, so that was cool. They gave me a jersey. You know, I know a lot of Chicago people be like, no, you gotta choose, fam. You can't be Cubs, then White Sox. You can't be, you gotta choose, fam. And I was just like, look, I don't even watch baseball. They, they gave me some jerseys, you know, and it's, it's fine, so. The best city to spend 24 hours in for someone such as myself, me, is definitely would be Vegas. Favorite hotel and spot to gamble in Vegas is the Palazzo, is where I always stay. They always take great care of me. Great, great casino, great hotel. Um, I play a lot there as well. But I, I move all over. The Aria is good. Bellagio is always great. Um, so. Yeah, Vegas is, is pretty cool, but the Palazzo is my spot. I mean, I've spent <laughs> plenty of nights up <laughs> up in Vegas, uh, either going to a party, going back to the tables, or going to the tables and leaving the tables to go to a party to come back to the tables. Experiencing Vegas for the first time, you know, you do a lot of the shows and the stratosphere rides. I, I've been on all of the stratosphere rides. I've never been on those again because um, those are some of the most scariest rides you've ever, you've ever been in in your life. And as you know, after you've done those rides, you're kind of looking at yourself like, yo, why the hell did I do that? That was probably some of the most dumbest shit I've ever did in my life. It was fun at the time. I mean, you know, I, I haven't did it since, I was, since I've been uh, 40, but <laughs> back when I was 20 something, I, I did it. But um, no, nah, I ain't doing that now.